page 31. Chloe and Logan settle into their sleeping bags. You and Logan take turns guessing what caused the zombie outbreak. Before long, you're the only one awake. You're going to keep watch. You'd rather do it outside the tent so you can see what's coming. You quietly step over Logan, unzip the tent, and sneak out. You arch your back and stretch, looking at the stars poking through the trees. A pale glow from the moon peeks through the branches. Carefully stepping over Logan's rings of twigs, you start to walk toward town while making sure you could still see the tent. On a normal night, the only sound would be a wind rustling through the trees, but you faintly you can hear sounds that send chills down your spine. Honking horns, occasionally gunfire, blood-curdling screams. Maybe Logan was right. We're better off away from the city. You turn around, but the tent is nowhere in sight. You must have walked farther than you thought. You make your way back to the tent, keeping your eyes focused on the ground to avoid stepping on anything. That would make noise. As you get close to the tent, you hear twigs snapping. Your eyes catch something moving 15 feet in front of the tent. A zombie! You freeze mid-step. The zombie hasn't seen you or the tent, but you start to panic when you realize you left the tent flat, wide open. If Chloe and Logie make in the slightest sound, the zombie will be on top of them in seconds. There's no way to warn them now. You could still, you stay still and hope the zombie passes. The only other option is to try to lead the zombie away from the tent. To stay still, go to page 33. To draw the zombie's attention, turn to page 36.